Thanks for tuning in here at stansberryinvestor.com. Joining me today uh, to give us the lowdown is Vince Lancy. He's a founder over at Echo Bay Partners. He's also a frequent contributor to Zero Hedge. Uh, Vince, welcome back to the show. Thanks for having me, Danielle. Happy to be here. What? Where does silver go from here, Vince? To, to be simple about it and then to give you a reason, because I've been discussing this recently with some people, it goes up. Now, to put a finer point on it, I think we're in the process of a short squeeze right now. It may not be bearing out in the price, but if you look at how the market is behaving, the silver market is holding strong while gold is selling off. Right. Because there are serious shorts in the silver market. It might be hedge funds, it might be banks, it might be uh, arbitrage traders, but they need to buy silver. If gold ever turns around and goes up, silver is going to run very hard. I'm, this, this is not done. There doesn't have to be a real short squeeze, Daniela. There just has to be the perception. If I just lost money in GameStop and I'm short silver, my boss is tapping me on the shoulder telling me to close my position out. And people are nervous. Okay, so if I tell you, well, gold's um, lagging right now because of the stronger U.S. dollar against the backdrop of rising yield, stronger U.S. economic data, is that is that truth for you, or is there something greater at play? Um, those are those are true statements when you're discussing the macro, but when you're discussing what's going on right now for the last two weeks since this whole thing started, yeah. No, gold is down. I'll give you. I'll give you a take on what's happening with gold. Gold started to sell off when the Chinese New Year started. Right. This is tactical, and gold continues to sell off. To your point, uh, as bonds weaken, you can make the argument that that's bearish for gold because it competes on an interest rate basis. As the dollar strengthens, which it has, uh, not today, but generally speaking, it has. Um, that's also bearish for gold, but that's not bullish for silver. We had a day where silver was up over a percentage point and gold was down. How, how does that happen unless people are panicking? I want to bring it home with this because I promised one of our viewers and a, and a fan of yours, I would get this question into you, who wants to understand what's the point of the gold-silver ratio? If gold, uh, yeah, sure, they're both precious metals, but silver has an industrial uh, component to it. Um, you know, the you know, and, there, and there's two, two, two schools of thought here. Some people say who, who, who religiously follow the gold silver ratio and others that say it's completely pointless. Uh, where, do you, where do you stand on it? Uh, as a trader, it's very, it's, very it, it's, it's important. As a historian, it's important. But as a true measure of what silver or gold should be worth, I think it's meaningless. I, I can answer that question very clearly. The gold silver ratio is rooted in back in the days when they wanted to have bimetallism. They wanted to have silver be worth, I think, 16 gold. Back, we're talking like the 1800s. And so the gold-silver ratio was kind of, they tried to stick it at 16. And so you'll hear that referred to once in a while. And to this day, the gold-silver ratio, as it gets closer to 16, we're nowhere near that, like in the 60s now, uh, people will say then, you know, the true value of silver based on its rareness, based on its monetary qualities is 16 to one. Now, I don't know if that's true or not. But the reason it's not important is because silver isn't just money anymore. It is industrial to your point. You can't use silver as money. You just can't because it's, it's more important than gold. The other reason that it's important to watch the gold silver ratio is because if I'm, and I think this is important, people are not familiar with this. If I'm long one gold contract, and I sell one silver contract, part of my margin requirements offset. So if you have to have, I'm making a number up here. If it costs $10,000 in margin to put money up in gold, yeah, but offset some of that by selling one silver, reducing the amount of capital you have to use for your trade. This is why, even though the concept is antiquated, the gold silver spread relationship persists to this day. All right. Interesting thoughts. Good thoughts all around. Um, it's a complex beast, Vince. And I appreciate you joining us today, yeah. giving us the lowdown here. Thank you, Vince. And thank you for watching this edition of StansberryInvestor.com. We'll have much more for you. We're on all the social media platforms. Thanks for watching. I'm Dingali Kamboni.